Hello gamers, this is SmokyBoot6 with another Attention Gamers video. Uh, today we're talking about Halo Reach from the Master Chief Collection on PC when 10 and above. And we're talking about bullet magnetism and aim assist. Now, the developers, 343 Industries, have said that they have no intention of removing controller bullet magnetism or adjusting or removing its aim assist because it would create a scenario in which they cannot have cross console cross platform play uh, cuz this is obviously already released on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One and the Xbox One S go home and because of that they can't just remove it from the game and make it a true competitive shooter because that would disenfranchise a large demographic of their uh, customer base. So one of the things that they have done on the PC version is allowed people to connect game pads and game controllers to their uh, their desktop and then as long as a game pad is connected the game will give that input a aim assist bonus. Now you might ask yourself how can I get aim assist on a mouse and keyboard? Well here's how. But before I say this, I want to stress that this is a proof of concept, and I am not encouraging people to do this on competitive, despite the fact that it is technically undetectable, and as far as the anti-cheat is concerned, you just plugged in an Xbox remote, and nothing's amiss. That said, proof of concept, here it is. This is a video showing what happens when you use uh, joystick emulation software and controller emulation software to force aim assist to and bullet magnetism to turn on when using a mouse and keyboard all right so let's watch as you can see this is on heroic and i'm barely even shooting at the enemies and i'm still i'm still hitting them because that's how aim assist works it's very overpowered like i said this is a console game designed for console players but if you actually have the benefit of a quick moving mouse as well as the versatility of a keyboard and then you add to that a really really crazy amount of aim assist you basically kill everything very very quickly because the bullets have a tendency to move towards the enemy's head or central mass and there's certain degrees to this because certain controllers obviously have more aim assist than others and a lot of this is just like really weird internal hardware values that the end user can't actually see and there's some unfairness with that. Um, if, if for whatever reason you are using an emulator to emulate a joystick and you're using mouse and keyboard and for whatever reason it stops working suddenly, there's a trick you can do without even restarting the game to get it to work again. This is also the same trick that you use when achievements are unlocking, uh, specifically data pads. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up an elevated command prompt and you're going to want to type netch int torito show state. And if it says offline, you're going to type net int torito set state disabled and then hit show state. And in Windows 10 and above, disabling this interface actually does the opposite. It enables it. So if you just picked up a data pad and the achievement didn't bleep bloop, uh, do this, and when it says uh, that it's online, whether managed or whatever, doesn't matter, then pick the data pad up again and the achievement will pop. Oddly enough, uh, for reasons beyond me, this also fixes emulation issues, so if, you're, if your emulator software goes back to not working and the game interprets your mouse as a mouse rather than a, uh, a game pad, it will stop giving you aim assist, but it seems like this process can be hot swapped very easily which is why adjusting Torito uh, appears to work 90% of the time. So we're just going to do a little bit more demo of this. Again, this is this is intended play uh, for a controller. Uh, developers for 343 have said that this is not intended play for a mouse and keyboard. So you can either see, look at that. That's it's basically aimbot. So uh, that's pretty much it. Just a short video on <laughs> this this game and, and, and the various other issues with aim assist and ways in which you can circumnavigate them, them issues and have a real bomb-ass time on multiplayer competitive matches.
which I totally do not recommend you do. <laughs> please don't. There's enough of them out there already. Just please don't.